All right, just to get started, can you state your name for the camera? Sure, Cody Taylor Dickinson from Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, and when were you born? 1976, April 25th. All right, um, what exactly is your occupation? I'm a musician. Yeah, I've spent my whole life, I've been a professional musician for 20 years now. Um, I play drums in the North Mississippi All-Stars, among many other bands and uh, many instruments, and I also produce records. Okay, and um, you're born in Memphis. Were you raised here? Pretty much, yeah. I, uh, I lived in Collierville, um, outside of Collierville and Rossville, east of Memphis, as a kid. And then I moved to uh, Mississippi when I was around 10. I've lived there um, ever since. So where'd you go to high school? I went to high school at Hernando. Okay. Hernando High School, yeah. That's where we met our uh, bassist, uh, Chris Chu, from the North Mississippi All-Stars. Yeah. Well, what year did you graduate? Uh, I didn't graduate. Okay. It would have been 1996. Uh, 96. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I went on tour. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm from South Haven, so. Oh, cool. I live in South Haven currently. You do? I love South Haven, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice place. Um, so your parents are Jim Dickinson? Yeah, yeah. Um, my dad, Jim Dickinson, uh, an amazing uh, record producer and pianist. Um, played with numerous artists and uh, had an amazing career. And my mom, uh, she's, uh, she loves the music and supports musicians, you know, in so many ways. Okay. Um, what was growing up like with your siblings? And Well, I have one brother, Luther. Uh, mm -hmm. He's an older brother and he plays, uh, plays guitar. Um, he's an incredible guitarist. And it was, uh, I had a real um, amazing upbringing, you know, like being a kid out in the country was really great and then uh, when we got old enough to play we just started doing shows professionally um, as much as possible and you know that led into uh, full careers you know so um, my whole life my family and my work has always been kind of closely intertwined you know so you and your brother what's the age difference he's three and a half years older okay so you both involved with music from an early age yes learn how to play several instruments and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, he, um, Lu uh, Luther mainly plays guitar and mandolin, um, stringed instruments, you know. I, uh, lately I've been playing a lot of piano, and um, uh, I like the piano and the organ, plus uh, the bass and, uh, and guitar as well. I play guitar in a band uh, I started a few years ago called Hill Country Review, and um, during the process of that band, uh, we got signed and everything, it was real exciting, but, uh, during that whole um, process, I wound up moving from drums to guitar, so that was interesting. <laughs> so you started off with drums? I did, yeah. Um, actually, as a kid, I played guitar first, and then I moved to drums when I was about 10, but it was the first instrument that I played professionally, you know. Yeah. Cool. It's a good, uh, the drums are a great instrument to start with. Yeah. That's yeah. how I start. I play a little guitar, but I, I started off with drums. I think that's the best way, because you can always apply uh, the rhythmical like the rhythmic ideas um, and and, um, and exercises and, and, and uh, notes to any instrument, you know that it really it's drums are great. Yeah, I always always go back to them. Anyway. So, what was your first um, professional gig? I guess. Oh, good question. We uh, it was right here in Memphis. We played um, the Center for Southern Folklore Heritage Fest for Judy Pizer. Um, I'll never forget it. My, it was my dad's show, and he just had Luther and I playing with him, along with Jim Spake and some other good Memphis guys. But uh, uh, we were called the Hardly Can Playboys. It was funny. We were just little kids. We played all different styles of music, though. It really helped to learn um, to be versatile and, and know a lot of different genres. So what, um, what genre do you mostly focus on? Um, well, we play blues, you know, I mainly play blues music, but these days that means uh, a lot of things, you know, uh, rock and roll, you know, um, I also listen to a lot of current music today, I, you know, just recently I've been listening, and you know, that's it. all kinds of stuff, everything, really, you know, I, I just do my best, I, I try like heck to keep up with, with, uh, with music, because there's so much now, and, and a lot of real, real good stuff, music seems vital, and important again, which is exciting. It's good. Um, 
So, like, uh, growing up, your dad was a record producer, I guess? Yeah. What was, did you spend a lot of time in, like, the studio with him, or? Yeah, I mean, um, I definitely got to see him work, and, um, I remember being in, uh, in recording studios as a kid, and, uh, all the, uh, equipment looking so huge, you know, from my perspective. Um, and it's, it's still like a spaceship. I mean, uh, recording studios are great. Um, he would usually, uh, my dad would bring uh, Luther and I into every session for like just a, an afternoon. You know, it would be brief, you know, but he, he kind of made it a point to, uh, you know, bring us to work every day. Or, I mean, once a day, once a project, like one day out of a project, he'd bring us in. and. Um, that was cool. Looking back on it, you know, that's a really cool thing for a dad to do. It would be easy for him to not do that, especially considering it was like the replacements or Primal Scream or, you know, not normal places kids would be hanging out. Yeah. Yeah.